Please subscribe this channel. Some long-running automotive nameplates are constantly updated in an attempt to remain relevant. Not the Toyota Land Cruiser. The Land Cruiser scoffs at change. Aside from ditching its old-school solid front axle and venerated inline six-cylinder back in 1998, the Cruiser's updates have largely focused on creature comforts and sheet metal revisions. When the current iteration, a J200 in Toyota Speak, appeared in 2008 with a 5.7-liter V8 replacing the previous 4.7-liter V8, it had been nearly a decade in the making. Toyota performed a mild refresh in 2013, whereupon it took the opportunity to cram it chock full of nearly every infotainment and electronic safety nanny feature in the Toyota Canon. For the 2016 model year, Toyota decided to get really crazy and update the Land Cruiser with a revised front fascia, front fenders, and lighting elements, making it look fresh, from the windshield forward, at least. It also swapped out the 6-speed automatic for an 8-speed unit and brought the Electro Wizardry up to date again. Change may come slowly to the Land Cruiser, but the king of the off-road mountain can't stand pat while others innovate. The crown rests heavy. At 5,926 pounds as tested, there's no getting around the Land Cruiser's heft. But as with a classic revolver or a quality hand tool, every ounce earns its keep. You notice it instantly. The interior door latches, for instance, feel and operate as if they were designed for demanding environments. A high, flat floor to allow ground clearance necessitates a legs forward seating position, and while there is elbow and shoulder room to spare, headroom can be a little tight for those much over 6 feet tall. The belt line is low and your torso high, providing what they referred to in the early days of SUV mania as a commanding view. The second row is spacious enough to seat a trio of corn-fed Midwesterners in relative comfort, but while Toyota says the third row seats also offer room for three, our experience indicates their use is best reserved for dire predicaments such as having young children who need to go somewhere. That said, we find their distinctive fold-to-the-side functionality a nice nod to the cruiser's past, even if they aren't as space-efficient as some fold-flat third-row setups. All passengers, regardless of seating position, will enjoy the standard leather interior surfaces. With 381 horsepower and 401 pounds to foot of torque on tap from the naturally aspirated 5.7-liter V8, the Land Cruiser will never be in danger of ending up on a podium at the drag strip. But just because it can't keep pace with the likes of the 6.2-liter equipped Cadillac Escalade doesn't mean it's pathologically bulky. Employing the well-spaced ratios of the new 416 8-speed automatic, we managed to hustle it to 60 miles per hour in 6.7 seconds utilizing the time-tested brake torque technique for the best launch. The quarter mile fell in 15.1 seconds, the crews are clearing the traps at 93 miles per hour for the record, that's 0.2 seconds lower to 60 miles per hour but the same quarter mile elapsed time, albeit 1 mile per hour slower, as when we tested a 6-speed cruiser back in 2008. All the same, getting to 60 miles per hour in less than 7 seconds is impressive for a vehicle usually conceived as a weird alternative to the back of the world.